Hello and welcome guys. I'll just adjust the music right now. What's going on? Um it's Friday morning for me. It's like 9 a.m. for me. It is too early and I just realized what people go through when they stream at like 9 a.m. <laughs> I literally just woke up um I guess a few minutes ago. Um yeah, like half an hour ago and then I just realized that I'm super late. I could not um you know, I had no time to just like do stuff before that I intended to and then yeah. Anyway, I'm a little slow right now and I'm trying to adjust the music. So if you're watching, let me know if you can hear me properly and if the music is all right. If you don't know me from before, my name is Anika and um I'm from New Delhi, India. I have just started streaming. This is probably like my third stream. As you can see, this is my portfolio. Um, I put it up just to show you what kind of work I do and what I will be doing today. So, um, in my last stream, I worked with Adobe Dimension and I made like still life. Um, and yeah, um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I started making objects from scratch from Photoshop, then moved to Dimension. It was it was crazy. It got crazy in life. And um, lately, I did some branding exercises. So I, I did some. the branding stuff over here i still feel like the music is too loud so i'm just going to decrease it down a little bit i guess it should be good now anyway yep so this is how it looks like and today we're going to be doing value studies and um it's going to be i don't know it's going to be crazy because i haven't really um sketched in like a few months other than like designing logos and stuff so it's going to be fun let's see how it goes i'm excited for that and um yeah i am i actually started out as an artist so um i guess one and a half years ago i guess mid october uh, mid october wow yes i am sleepy <laughs> mid 2019 i realized that um uh i should probably you know do something about my life because i really don't like coding so i started painting as a gift for a friend and it just then stopped so let me show you like the first painting i think this was it Yeah. This is like my crazy collection of the first paintings that I did. So this is like the first painting I painted. I'm not kidding. And this is all done by like palette knife and I'm tooting my own horn over here, but I don't mind it <laughs> unless you do. So, um yeah, and then those are like the few paintings. This is like a Jackson Pollock inspired and then there's some abstract stuff over here. And this is also one of my favorite paintings. Um yeah, I really like the colors in it and how they're like merging together that's that and then i moved on to exploring my style a little bit and i moved on to digital art when the pandemic hit i'm like hey i can't source materials anymore so like let's just draw it instead so at the time there was this procreate care pack that was going on so i did some stuff over there so procreate actually started up uh, with prompts for like a whole month and i i'm also just realizing that i'm missing the chat everywhere Anyway, so um yeah, that happened and I made some um I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong page now. <laughs> so I made some stuff over here as well and then some other random um stuff and then lately I've been working on like branding. So my hand really got tired, guys, and this is why we're doing like studies now. So today, let's just get started. If you go to your um to the info panel on the right, you will be seeing um the resource page which is nothing but this page and this is just like i don't use pinterest at all but i decided to share what i'm going to be working with today and this is the mood board so we have 1 2 and 3 based on the number of objects and the light so one is like a very simple basic study two is um slightly complicated where the light is a little bit difficult to interpret and then the third one is actually this so it has something of um that I'm going to try I don't know if I can excel it this is also a painting I'm not sure if I can um like you know um copy the style over here but we'll try we'll try we'll see how it goes and my hair is like terrible today anyway um I really like these still lives I actually got inspired by this page on Instagram called I don't know if you've heard it it's called still hair still life it's by these two um artists and illustrators I think I have it open here So they're like Zena and Tess, they're illustrators and they started up 
in your amidst the pandemic they were like hey we want to build a community because the pandemic is not going anywhere and we definitely need to you know like feel good about this so they decided to um get prompts from us and um people like us are um making art so they upload a prompt every week and then you have to like interpret it in your own style you can do anything you want with it okay so let's just get started over here i'll quickly switch to my um let's just pick what i'm going to do so let's go to still life and go to one i'm going to start with some warm up sketches i'm not sure how that's going to go but we shall see we shall see <laughs> i want to pick something like easy right now because i just woke up so let us do this um yeah all right let's go to my ipad i hope you can still hear the music can you i don't think you can um how about now yeah i think now is good okay awesome so this is something i was working with this is nothing but um yeah just did some typography and i'm really bad at it again i just started don't mind me and then this is something that i was just trying lights so just from here so that's there let's just go and create something really quickly so i have oh um so if you guys know wade um the theme for his study is this month is trees or wood and i was doing something earlier and this is what i created not so cool like wade's i just was on wade's live and i was like whoa that is crazy and this is something else i was working with um just experimenting and seeing how it stuff looks so let's just go and create something i'm going to show you what i'm working with so let me just like um quickly go to my settings and turn this on while i just show you what i'm doing so you can know where my cursor is pointing these are the pixel brushes if you're new to adobe fresco you should totally use it and i totally forgot to mention i'm going to be using adobe fresco today i'm not going to use illustrator or anything else just because my hand hurts from all the work this week so i just decided let's just do something like sketching that's easy a little bit easy on my hand so there's like basic brushes over here that you can see and then there's like all different kinds of brushes you have these library brushes as well so there's the keith herring brush and all of these are by like carlty webster so you can go here and check them out if you press the plus icon you can discover new brushes or import from your files if you click on discover it automatically takes takes you to this page which is definitely um from the internet you can download any of these that you want so um i selected a few of my favorites over here and let's just see what they are so i really like the graphite stick i'll just turn it on and like show it to you how it feels i'm just like this is like the darkest value and then like slightly lesser i really like how it feels um like the texture feels on the paper although this is not paper but i really like how it feels and then this is like the slowest and I'm, i believe it can be darker than this as well right so this is the graphite stick and then we have like the charcoal pencil as well so this is how it feels at the charcoal pencil and then there is like the ultimate pastel this is also cool um but obviously everyone's favorite happy hp everybody likes this this is a little too big brush size for me but hey there's happy hp all right um let us move to drawing stuff now um i'm not sure what i'm sharing right now but i hope it's you know i hope there is a lot of lag on this live that i'm viewing because it looks like <laughs> i'm still behind if you're joining me from um wherever let me know where you're tuning in from i'll be happy to know because it's like morning for me and i'm groggy but um it's probably night for you so let's see where you're from and say hello to you in the chat um if you are joining me for the first time my name is anika and i'm glad you're here you can check out my work um there's like links in the description so feel free to check it out and um i just practice some of these like pencils that i have on my favorites over here i don't usually like you having this touch thing on my screen but i just decided to show like show you what brushes i'm using so i'm quickly going to turn it off 
I'm not doing anything. I'll probably tell you what all I'm doing. So I'll just go ahead and use the Happy Age Weave pencil. If you're just joining me, um, there is a mood board in the info. So um, check it out. You can draw along if you like or not if you don't. Um, I'm just gonna be working on some value studies today. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let's just do the first thing that I do over here. That is. I'm using the Happy HP pencil and um, yep, let's draw. I just see basically like a circular shape, so shouldn't be like difficult to draw. It's okay to like um, have squiggly lines in the in the beginning because you're just gonna only like form them later on so it's fine let me know if the music is too loud i will modify adjust the volume and i have a reference over here one from um, mood board one if you're looking at it and yeah that's what i'm working with i'm just like doing a little bit of a warm-up This week was like terribly long, to be honest. And I'm so glad it's Friday today, finally. And this is like an early morning stream. This doesn't look right at all. I'm gonna adjust it already. So like, I think this is why I like working with um, digital medium now, because you can adjust everything. And yeah, this other day I was, um, I think I was on a live and I, I think it was Shauna or someone hosting somebody. And I just asked them if they like, when they traditionally sketch, do they like double tap or like single tap to undo? And I totally find myself doing that. The other day I was doing it in a notebook and I'm like, hey, I want to erase this. So let's just undo it. And I'm undoing it. And it is not happening, guys. <laughs> like, it was crazy. I'm like, this is just wrong. So I just did nothing. I just touch the function key press and hold the function key if you want to erase it um, with the same brush that you have and that does the job for you and um, yeah I'm just getting started so you like how like um, you can focus on one set of skill when you're doing still life because it really like helps you look at all the lights and shadows which is what I'm trying to do here. And since this is like, so the light source is, I'm going to tell you, the light source is over here. So like over here is going to be like shadows. And yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, let's quickly dive in. Um, Make some more details over here. Hmm. Let's go to the graphite stick. Where is it? Um, too big. Let's just make it a semi and like start with the sketching. So, like to start with the darker, darker colors because it's easier to manipulate them. And if you're doing it for the first time, you should also probably do the same. Um. Yeah, and if you're also um, sketching along right now, you can upload it to Dropbox or anywhere you want. And then, you know, we can all look at it together. Hell, you might even be better than me. That's okay. So I lately realized that um, there's a lot of pressure with live streaming. And um, every time I want to live stream, I'm like super nervous before. And I'm like, hey, what am I going to do on the live stream? And then I give myself this pep talk that, Hey, face your fears. What are you doing, Anika? So, um, yeah, uh, I feel like that's 
being an artist in general that involves that or being a designer that that involves you facing that a few days the days when you're not feeling so good but um patience is key and practicing your skill definitely is there is um i feel like there's something wrong over here with the structure of this so yep now it looks better oh hey talon thanks for joining me i'm so glad you could join us how are you doing i saw you live the other day um the harry potter related on instagram although i joined in like super late i had no idea what what was happening and then i'm like hey it's better if i just leave right now because i can't understand anything how did that go um so these are like some rough shadows i'm going don't worry about everything that's outside this boundary sort of a thing that i've created because um that can be edited just like this it went well that's nice what is it about i felt like it was like some um book or something i really don't know you were nervous <laughs> yeah i'm not nervous today i'm just like um you know this is my third live stream now i'm not nervous but i feel like uh my sketch is not going to be good enough but this is just a warm up sketch i feel like it's turning out okay so let us not doubt ourselves and do some real drawing and we're just hanging out so it's all right let us go back to the graphite stick and see how this looks so since the light source is over here this is where the shadow is going to be i'm quickly going to save it again because i really don't know if if it's going to die on me i initially tried to do stuff on like different layers because so now since these brushes are like pressure sensitive i um uh press a little softer now just to make like lighter values right now that works and then this is also like this place where there's some shadows so we do that they were promoting a new book and i got an early copy to show off for fans oh that's great oh yeah i saw i think i saw that and you were like um i don't know the person you were with was gryffindor and you were some other house i'm sorry i'm really bad at harry potter <laughs> oh callan says i hate when i lose stuff because i forget to save oh yeah tell me about it it, it is terrible it's the worst thing that could happen but i feel like we're all um equipped enough by now to not do it anymore so yeah like i said i try to like make these things on a different layer because and then just like merge them in the end because it's like easier for me to work that way some people like to um work on the same layer and that's completely fine it's just how i work this doesn't look so right and now if you if something goes wrong you can just press and hold the function key and everything's fine i used to work with procreate earlier and i feel like um fresco has like because the adobe ecosystem fresco has like more i have um like a better thing to manipulate i can just make vectors on my ipad and then move move it to illustrator or photoshop or wherever i like to be honest I think that's what I like about Fresco because I've been using Adobe products a lot and um yeah that's why I prefer Fresco anyway now. I'm just going to add some more shadows over here if we can like I don't know if we can see this and It's really like how this looks like raw um like you're using a pencil. That's actually what I really like about this brush. Yeah, so I think I'm going to merge this down. Add another layer. Um maybe make some shadow um reflections right now. So I will use the same brush and you know, let's just get something in there. 
this is usually the last pick that I should do, but um, I just decided to do it because I wanted to have some um, direction right now. So, like, just to use this reflection as a guide to make other shadows, that's what I'm doing over here. Oh, hey, Chris, I'm so glad you could join us today. How are you doing? You've been MIA. What's up? Are you also dabbling in dimension now? <laughs> How that that night was crazy when we so um Chris is from Chris is also a visual designer and he works a lot with like stream overlays. He used to be a Twitch streamer. I think he still streams on Twitch, but he is yet to stream on Behance, and I'm looking forward for that. And um, I wish I had like one of those things that Ryan has, which is like streamer in the chat. And um, yeah, so Chris is also one of those people there. I met him on Brandon's Discord. It's amazing. You can meet like people from all over the world, and yeah, that that's it. That's the story. <laughs> I'm doing well, Chris. I don't know if I answer that again, but I'm doing well. How are you? What's going on? How was your week? What time is it there? Is it like um Thursday night for you? I got distracted. Like I got so distracted. Okay. Let us. So when I'm doing like a lighter stroke, I usually increase the size because then it's easier to manipulate it, and then like just go ahead with it. So if you're wondering why I'm looking on this side of my um, because it's because I have my reference open on here, and if you're just joining me, it's on the Pinterest mood board. I don't use Pinterest. I have like three boards on Pinterest and um, I just made one really quickly to like showcase what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Chris says he had some long overtimes on some projects and I want to finish them by the end of the week. Oh yeah, it's almost 6 a.m. <laughs> wow. Wow. That, that's crazy. That reminds me of myself a few hours ago. I was up till like 5 a.m. and I'm like, what am I doing? I should probably go ahead and like sleep. This is all wrong. Okay, wait. I think this is my this is my reflection. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it up so that everything is like down below. I literally slept at like 5 a.m. I was watching the streamer um in the morning. I really like Ryan streams. He was working in After Effects, so I was doing that, and then I just couldn't sleep. And I'm like, hey, whatever. Let's just be up now till like 9 a.m. It's 9, 9 ish for me. It's 9.26 already. I'm still working on this. But yeah. Oh, thanks, Chris. I doubt it though, but yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna add some more shadows. I think there are like some more shadows over here. So as easy as this, this is just a basic sketch and this is what I'm going to be doing. Just learning where the light is coming from and um, where the shadows, how the shadows are interacting with the object. That's all. That's all we're going to be doing today. Just taking it easy, end of the week. I feel like this is somewhat like, and if you go wrong, you can just erase stuff. That's easy as that. So I'm going to quickly go over here and like lighten this up a little bit feel like it's too dark oh you just install install fresco yeah, I don't know how well it works with um the other tablets. It works fine with the Adobe um iPad. I'm not sure about how it's gonna work with the Wacom. On my Tab Seven, yeah, I have no idea how it works. Um, let me just quickly go to my OBS and see if the music. Chris, can you tell me and help me out here if the music's fine? Can you hear the music and like um is my mic okay?
Um, so now I think I'm just gonna select all of these and like quickly merge everything because it looks all right to me. When I merge everything, this is the object. The shadows, um, the reflection is still on a different layer. I'm gonna merge that as well. And like go to my graphite stick again and like maybe go over this a little bit to make it look more real. Cool. I'll just go to my happy HP pencil again. Kyle's drawing happy HP and again this is on a different layer. So I'm quickly just gonna like I like some in the end I, when I'm like refining the sketch I really like making darker um, shadows because then it gives me like um, like a refined look. I try to do that. I feel like I missed some shadows over here, so I'm gonna add those two later on. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It is um one of the uh, very easy. I don't think I put the link today, so it's like a uh, stream, uh, stream hits lo-fi, Harris Hello Music of Spotify. And um, if you guys are just joining, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're doing fine and the weekend is treating you well. Well, um, technically it's not the weekend yet. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm just like refining the sketch a little bit. I feel like it's coming to shape. Can you guys tell I'm like sketching after five months? This is so rough. Like, I don't even want to get started. Like, what am I doing over here? So, um, when I'm creating, like, a shadow from... Since the light source is on the left, top left, the shadow will be somewhere here, right? So, I'm just going to create some shadows. And um, over here in this one, and in any um, study that you're doing, to be honest, the shadow is bound to be, like, the darkest of all so if you remember the thing that i made earlier which is definitely not here but yeah it's gonna be darker than this one sec i'll just show you by like using a different color so let's just use red and use like pencil so if so this is like this is like the darkest value i have i'm gonna qualify as at four zero is the lightest so that's this that's zero and now this is gonna be five which is the darkest because it's the shadow of this this object and it's definitely going to be darker because light is from the other side, right? So I'm going to undelete that because I don't want that to be merged by mistake. I go back to my black. I go back to my graphite. I feel like I'm like um, incorporating, talking about what I'm doing in my process very quickly. That's fun. I thought I'd be distracted by what I'm doing and I won't be able to talk about what I'm doing. But... This seems fun and it's fairly easy. Okay. I'm gonna shut this down as well. Add some shadows over here, which I totally forgot about. What fruit do you think this guy this is guys? I really want to know what this looks like to you. Like, super excited to know. Okay, awesome. Let's save it again. I feel like I like this. Hmm, I'm totally digging this. What do you guys think? Let us go back oh i like how it looks it looks like um a fruit <laughs> okay let's just add some more highlights to the like to end it um yeah i'm happy i'm happy with the sketch wait i did it on the same layer oh no i didn't mean to do that yeah so when i'm like adding the last bits of highlight i try to do it on a different layer because i want to you know i i may want to adjust the opacity a little bit so that's what i do 
Mm, that's my coffee that I totally forgot about. It's like those tea incidents where you forget that you pour tea for yourself. Sorry about that. So like um let's say I think the music is too loud suddenly, is it? Or is it just for me? Sort of, right? Let's just decrease it a little bit. Yeah, all good now. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. I'm glad you like it. Chris says it makes him want to eat some fruits now. Yeah, you probably should. You've been up like all night. <laughs> okay, so this is like how it looks now, and I can just go ahead over here and adjust the opacity. And I'm also going to change the music. What song is this? This is too loud. Go back to my intro and outro music. Okay, so let's just adjust the opacity over here. And sometimes I'm like, when I'm streaming, I forget that there's a lag. And then I'm like, I'm watching myself on the stream. And I'm like, shit, um, what? why did I stop in between? Anyway, so yeah, this is the object. This is the shadow. This is something that I used to explain. So I'm going to delete that. And this is, um, again, like some values that I was explaining and some pencils i'm just gonna leave it here for like the raw look i really like how it looks and then just put it on the side over here maybe erase that a little bit yeah let us move on okay save again let us move on to the second one let's go back I don't know, um, let's go back to my work area. So this is what I was working with guys and let me show you what the output was. I want to compare it myself. I want to see how it's going to look. So let's see. Let's hope it's all good. <laughs> this is what you're working with. I have, okay, that's like my thing right here. And there's like this terrible lag that I'm experiencing right now. That's totally on OBS because I don't even have anything else working right now. This is so weird. I totally feel like I need to upgrade any minute now. I'm trying to find this finder window, but I can't see it anywhere. <laughs> don't die on me. Oh, there we go. We have a finder and you can see all these lovely unarranged, unorganized things over here. Oh, did it not send yet? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just sending right now. Hmm. This was yesterday? I don't know what this was. Oh yeah, this is the um, practice sketch that I was doing yesterday. I'm not even sure why it's not sending, but let me just try and... I can just share a link. Oh, share link. It's loading my link. Alright, so from Fresco, you can just share a link and that's how it works. Meanwhile, while that's happening, let's just go to my mood board again. This is what I was working with. Let's just go to copy link. and um, go over here. I'm not sure if it will work, but let's see if it does. Okay, don't think it's working and like everything's, wow, this is crazy. This is definitely crazy. What the hell just happened? Okay, let's go back to my iPad. This is terrible guys. I'm facing some technical difficulties right now. So spare with me for one second. OBS is literally given up on me. I don't know what you can see right now. So if you are in the chat, help me out. I'm just gonna see if I have anything else open. 
Oh, there we go. It worked. Awesome. It worked. I am not stuck with stuff anymore. Okay. Let's go back to my work area really quickly. Okay. I'm not going to be showing you anything. It really feels like the transfer made it crazy. The transfer really made it go crazy. I'm going to quickly shut these things because I don't want that to happen again. I'm sorry, guys. That was crazy. Ooh, I really like these images. Hmm. So as you can see, this is like more. Oh, wait, I did not even do one. Did I do one yet? I'm not sure. I'm so confused. I got so distracted by all of this that was happening over here. For, um, oh, yeah, I think I did one. Yeah, awesome. Let's just do the second one. So we have 12 pins in here. I decided to organize them in such a way that they're like um, more objects and like a difficult light source. I think I'm going to go with this just because I like how the lemons look and like there is more light and this people done it as well. Oh, wow. That's nice. I don't know you could do that on Pinterest. Like you could do a rebound shot as in dribble. Oh, this one is nice too. Yeah, it was the airdrop that made my machine go crazy. Wow. I did not know that would happen. But we're learning every day. We're learning every day. Okay, I'm going to work with this. I'm going to quickly see if I can like um, put this on my thing as well. Just to like give you guys a reference. I'm going to go back to my iPad screen. Try and put it over here. Okay, a little too big. I'll just adjust that. I think it's all right. Yep, um, initially I actually also added a timer and I'm like, hey, let's just add a timer. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Chris. I don't know what the nice is for, but thanks. I'm glad I got this finally working again. <laughs> I got scared there for a second. I'm like, what if this doesn't work? What am I going to do? Will I have to like shut down? This is a little too dark, I think. Delete this. A little too dark. So this is just a paint bucket that I'm using. I'm just going to go ahead and like... Pixel layer. You can also do a vector layer, anything that floats your boat. Since this is going to be a pixel drawing, I just try to use it. Again, I have these favorites, Graphite, Graphite. And then the scratchy pencil. Oh, there's a scratchy pencil too. Gives you like a real sort of look. And then there's a colored pencil as well. There's colored pencil if you want those darker strokes. And then there is happy HP, which is again everyone's favorite. So we have happy HP now. Let's see what's going on. Okay, awesome. Let us draw. Let us save. I feel like I want to do like a landscape um, more than this too. So let's just go with that. So initially I like to just like find the basic shape of the object, which is like an oval over here. So let's just work with that. I feel like when we're drawing from reference, we just tend to not look in between and think about what the object is, how we know it, and then just go on and drawing it. And that's what like ruins the whole process. But um, I think that's what you should actively try not doing because it ruins the whole sketch. I feel like there's no lag right now. There's like very less lag, which is great. Behance has been actively working on making this happen. 
bring down the lag. Carolyn, are you still here? Um, you should stream on Behance. I saw your um video that you recently made for the campaign. I'm not sure if I left a comment on that, but you should totally do this. You should totally stream on Behance, and you can also like choose to. Like, there's some people who don't even like show their face on here, which is all right. I was planning to do that today because I feel so groggy. I was like, hey, do I need to? But then I was like, yeah, I probably need to. Okay, feel like this is like going everywhere. This is sort of like this. You can like just come on here and show what you're doing. And I really like your sketches as well. So like you can come in and show your process, talk about it, just hang out and chill. The community is really nice and supportive. So that's good as well. And sometimes you get like people helping you out with stuff if you get stuck. So that's good too. This looks so wrong. <laughs> oh, you did, Chris? Wow, how did that turn out? Did you do them like for a logo design or something? This looks so wrong. This is just not right. I'm not happy with this. No, I'm trying to figure out where is best to stream. I tried Twitch, but maybe I'll try here. Oh yeah, do you have the access? This um, live streaming is on beta right now, so you can like just come up here and um, you can request access and I think you should be able to get it based on your portfolio. I don't know what the judging criteria is, but um, yeah, you can get it. They are trying to make it a very inclusive community. A lot of people stream on Behance now and um, a lot of people who actually streamed on Twitch have stopped streaming on Twitch now. They, sw like, they switched completely and exclusively to Behance. You should totally do it. I would recommend it. Although I'm not much of a live streamer myself. But yeah, I totally recommend it. I guess it's just for the community that I recommend it. Because amazingly, people are like super supportive. I love it. Let's just, I think... That's okay, let's just add this as well. There's a third one. Hmm, merge this down. Twitch was overrated? Really? I've only been on Twitch like a few times when Lightbox was happening last year. Um, that redirected me to some of the artists on Twitch. But yeah, I think it has been here for a while. So a lot of streamers do use Twitch. Still use Twitch? It's a good platform. Um, if you like do it regularly and you want to like showcase your um, process. And people used to like you, people use it for like um, gaming as well. So if they're gaming, they just go online and stream it. I don't know how that works, but yeah, that works. Let us edit this out a little, like this. Hmm, kind of looks like what we're working with. I'm glad. 3D icons for the streaming overlay. Really? Wow, that sounds interesting. There's this, um, I think, shapefest.com that you can go on and like look at all things 3D. There's like 3000 um, 3D things. I don't know. Let me just check it out real quick. Shape Fest. I think someone shared it on Discord. It's a massive library of 3D shapes. 
browse free 3D shapes. Yeah, let me just send it to you. I don't know if I can send it over here. One sec. I'm just going to send it as not a link. You can just copy paste it because I'm having a hard time finding that window. Oh, it sent us a link. Awesome. You can check this out. Um, and there are, you don't need to make everything. So there's like a lot of free stuff out here that you can use in like UI. Um, looks pretty cool as well. I should also try it out. I'm that person who tries to make everything from scratch. I don't know why, but yeah, I do. Okay, I feel like the leaves are like down below. I need to move it again. So I'm just going to move it a little bit upwards. There you go. And we have this. Okay, let's just make this one first. Oh, you like using it, but you had no luck. Um, I think it's mostly for gamers. Yeah, I feel so too. But there are a lot of artists who also stream. Maybe they've been streaming for a while and that's why they know how to like manipulate it. And I guess that goes for like every platform because you have to know what I'm like. I right now I'm experimenting with this time. I'm just trying to see how many people join in, what goes happen, what goes over here and like how like how I want to structure my weekly schedule. So I streamed last week as well, um, like a couple of times. And then I just, I did that on like evening my time. And not a lot of people from the US joined because obviously it's like 5 a.m. for them or like 7 a.m. for them. So I just thought, hey, let's just do like 10.30 for people. Maybe they will join. I see like there's someone on Adobe Live. That's why there's like so um, like really less people here right now, which is all right again. That's okay. Oh, you already see the key? Wow, that is awesome. Congratulations, Chris. I will see you on um, Behance. That's awesome. When are you planning to stream? What's going on? You don't even have to think about your stream overlays, right? Because it's super easy for you already have them. <laughs> okay, just quickly gonna erase that. We have a better picture of how this looks. This looks like this. And awesome. I feel like this is too small. This, let's just like... Um, select it. Why is this there? Oh. Oh yeah, you can do that. How to draw. That's good. Um, I think a good platform for that would be YouTube. And you can use, like, there are various plugins where you can use, like, make it for kids as well. Because that also, you have, like, an explicit thing on YouTube. So, you can do that. And um, that could be popular. You can use in hashtags um, for you to be discoverable. And that could be super helpful. I already have them done, some of them. I need to finish my work first so I could be stress-free. Oh yeah, Chris, tell me about it. But you can just come on here to like relieve your stress. <laughs> I don't know if that works for you. It's totally working for me. I don't, I don't feel my hand hurt anymore. And I'm enjoying the conversation. I feel like this is totally necessary, especially in the times of a pandemic. I'm like this person, I'm agoraphobic and I don't go out. I don't step out at all. Like, I only step out for, like, important stuff. And that's it. And there are people going out everywhere. So, I'm in India. And there's, like, a lot of people out here. Everyone just decides to go out every day. And it's like, there was no coronavirus. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty scared about that. I'm like, I can't do this. Like, no can do. I'm like, hey, let's just stay home forever. <laughs> Or at least under the vaccines. How's, how's the situation in um, the US, Talon? I feel like a lot of people have been saying that everybody will be vaccinated by in like the next two months. Do you think that's like, do you think it's true? Is it true? I mean, not do you think. Is it true? I'm just trying to understand. 
feel like the news is like manipulated everywhere. It's so like just making sure if it's really true. Also, if you guys are drawing along or um, making something from the mood board, it could be anything. Feel free to drop it in the chat, and I would totally encourage it. It's like super fun. It helps you understand where the light is coming. And before moving on to color, as the same design, if your logo looks good in black and white, it's gonna look in color as well. So if this looks in, looks good in black and white. Obviously, you need a lot of work when you're working with color, but um, it's still gonna look good because now you know how the values work and I'm just merging everything down. I'm going to delete this layer because I don't need it. We have this as the base layer. Wow, that looks crazy. And um, I'm going to hide this, I think. And this is the layer. I'm going to refine this a little bit. How's the weather there? Like, is it cold? Is it hot? What's going on? Over here, it's like summer's already. I feel like I had to turn on my air condition yesterday and I'm like, wow, this is hot. It's like 33 degrees Celsius and I'm like, it's summer already. I don't, I'm not a big summer fan. So Carolyn says, President was on today. He said, my main one, he wanted the vaccine to be open to everyone. We will see I'm low on the list. Oh, okay. Is it? Um. Oh yeah, we are low. Um, I remember how COVID-19 rendered every artist like non-essential we're non-essential workers people don't need us anymore in their lives and then suddenly you're turning back to like um artists again let's go back and watch artist stream because we have nothing nothing to do in our life and we'll just do that <laughs> okay awesome let's just start with our filling in the shapes now wow this is gonna be tough this is gonna be a tough one I feel like the leaves are not right a little bit. I'll just go ahead and edit that. Okay, not this. So I'll just use a lasso. And... Awesome. Please select, rub this out a little bit. Clean this up. Go back to your graphite. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we are essential entertainment. Definitely. I'm with you on that. Seems like this is like the darkest zone over here. Oh wait, what happened? I just like stopped looking at my screen for one second and this is what happened. We well, definitely essential in Damon. I feel like I'm um, learning most of my stuff of Behance though. Like you go on behance.net dot slash live. And then everything, like there's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of software you want to learn. And like someone or the other is streaming about it and you just like learn so much just by watching it. And that's how I like, love how when people stream. So I'm like, hey, let's do it myself. This last little guy also doesn't look too good, right? So I feel like I'm cheating now because I'm like using the lasso tool. But that's the beauty of it, right? Like that's why we're using Fresco after all. <laughs> okay, looks good now. Oops. What is this music? I'm just gonna go to Spotify. I feel like there's a chill hop playlist as well. 
that I'm forgetting about. I'm gonna change that. That is also stream free. I'm assuming. Hmm. Oh, it's not on. Then, yeah, let's just stay with this because I don't want to be pulled off with like copyrights and stuff like that. Yeah, I know, right? I don't miss paper at all. I use the iPad for everything. Like, had I, like the other day I was doing something in Adobe Dimension and I wanted to sketch it out first because I was trying to create a scene and then I my iPad was in charge because I used it a lot in the few hours before that and I took out my pen and paper and I wanted to do it and then I'm like, hey, I need to transform it and copy paste it like five times. How do I do it? And I'm like, shit, I'm not on the iPad. This is terrible. This is how it looks. I don't think it looks so good right now, but it will. Just go on to a new layer because I just want to see how it's looking. This is like, I feel like it's too dark. So I'm just going to lighten it up a little. It's like very distracting for me. Awesome. Let's go back to the graphite stick. Um. Yeah. Let's decrease the size a little bit. I feel like HP would be good over here. Like a smaller zone that we're working with. This is a fun idea. I should do this more often. This is like practicing um, and like making you stronger every time you do a sketch. If you like concentrate and not let it get to you. And it's like a fun change from the usual illustrator and dimension stuff because that sometimes is like super heavy as well. And I want my machine to like not cry all the time. We just saw that happen even though I wasn't like turning it on i feel like obs also takes a lot like even though i put it on like ultra fast and like 16 gb ram but i feel like it's not enough again these are the shadows so i'm gonna quickly do that and also what is this is this hp no it's not um let's just go with like a scratchy pencil as well where is it where's a scratchy pencil oh there we go let's see how it looks Oh yeah, this looks nice. Might as well just use it. This looks really nice. I feel like I'm gonna zoom out. I'm really zoomed in. Hmm. So feel like when I'm stuck, I um, be it design, be it or anything, you just have to step back and take a look from further away. That could be literal and metaphorical as well, because you are. When I say further away in design, it's like look further away objectively and create as if you were the client and not think about think about it as like personally how, how you would think of your design and just think about it as a, as a client would and that really helps um, yeah and when you're painting or you're drawing you just have to look back and like zoom out a little like zoom out way zoom out and see how it's comparing to the original picture and I immediately see some changes that I want to make. I couldn't see those earlier because I was too zoomed in to like have a perspective about it. 
and I feel like I found the mistake over here. So let me just see if I can rectify that. Oops, I cut this off as well. Let us see how this looks now. Zoom out again. Okay, much better than it looked earlier. I think the leaves are um, okay for now. Um, as in when we go and like update it, it's gonna look updated. Yes, so we're gonna update the leaves. What do you think guys, updating the leaves? I forgot about my coffee again. Eesh, it's terrible now. I should not have had had a sip of that. You guys like coffee? Are you coffee coffee people or like tea people? What do you like? I'm both. I like tea and coffee both. I'm I'm weird like that. I had like a phase where I only used to drink tea and I used to try all kinds of teas. And then at one point I thought I would be a tea connoisseur and like I would just like drink about uh, <laughs> drink about tea. Yes, I would drink about everywhere and um, like learn about what kinds there are and you get like amazing tea in India and you can like get loose leaves and that's actually where I got my inspiration from so when I do my branding exercises I take inspiration from my life and as I say inspiration is around you and it is that's so cliche but it's so true like sometimes we look for ideas and we just can't see them right around like they're just they're just there you just forget to see them. So like I did like a perfume brand lately. That was also one of my... I like I love perfumes. And I just thought, hey, let's create a brand out of it. It's beautiful. And when you're doing something that you really love, it just like, it makes it even more... It escalates the whole process. If you know what I mean. Like to say, um, your career choice, if it's something that you love... You're not even going, you know you're going to, you're putting in so much effort when you actually are. And it's going to be like effortless. You're going to advance and learn and upskill and want to upskill every single day without you knowing that you're doing it. So that's amazing. That's one thing I really like. I'm also manipulating this a little bit according to how I want it to be. Like for instance, there are some textures over here that I missed in the past. So I'm going to like adding it on a different layer as well. And I feel like I also need to add some details about the shape because it's really not. I'm going to use a scratchy pencil again. Yeah, there you go. Because it's really not like a straight shape. Oh, hey, Ryan. How are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. How am I awake? Well, I woke up like 45 minutes before my stream and I thought I was going to miss it. And I have like this terrible hairdo because, yeah, whatever. I just washed my hair and I'm like, let's come down to draw. And this is like my weird um, attempt to like do a study. And I like using Kyle brushes. Obviously, I'm using Kyle brushes. And let's go back and show you what I did earlier. So started with this. This is hello to you, Ryan. Oh, and obviously you're mod. So this is something I did earlier. I wanted to show it. And I'm like, let's show it. And then um, I was just... I just thought yesterday that let's just not do something on stream and like embarrass myself. So this is like something I did yesterday and then I just did this. There is resources, my mood board in the info. Please don't draw along with me because I know you're going to beat me to it. <laughs> I don't want you to draw along with me, Ryan. And then this is something that I worked on earlier. So yeah, that's just like a simple study. I started with that. And then this is the thing. Yeah, this is what I'm working with right now. I'm just using the scratchy pencil, the HB 
the happy age b and like drawing stuff and like gray fight as well and the people joining in i'm promoting like behance live and we were like hey let's go to twitch and i'm like no let's go to behance behance is good i should be on behance's marketing team to be honest <laughs> i've been promoting behance for like the past three weeks so much people are like fed up on my instagram they're like what is up with you we don't want to know you're going live on behance we cannot access it oh <laughs> what spirit yeah wait let me look at it again oh yeah i know what you're referring to like this thing yeah totally anyway yep let's get back i'm so glad you could join us i thought you were like you slept already and i came on um at like 8:15 and i saw like wade doing his stuff and i totally got the imposter syndrome i'm like what the hell i'm going to do on the live because wade was doing one of his tree studies and i'm like shit should i even go live again i was like contemplating it but then i'm like hey face your fears let's go live let's see how it looks okay i think i'm just going to add some white like reflections again because i want to see where this is going and it doesn't look like it's a good direction but let's just go with it <clears throat> wait what time is it ryan for you is it like um 11 11:30 i don't know by the way guys this is ryan this is whom i was talking about earlier so if you want to check out some comic stuff and also oh i had thought of this wait hold on hold on hold on i wanted to do this um so really love how ryan does it but like hey we got a streamer in the chat and then this eye blinks whatever like hey go to ryan selvi i'm sorry this is <laughs> okay i'm just going to hide that also delete that like i don't want to merge that to something else if you're into after effects and if you like um motion graphics you should totally follow ryan he does some amazing brilliant brilliant stuff i really love and um he also talks about a lot of varied um topics i really love that as well so that's also cool i'm just like quickly going through some shadows over here Oh, it's almost midnight. <laughs> she in the chat button. Yeah, it's really cool. I feel like I, when I saw it the first time, I felt like, hey, that's what's missing. I have this really fun um follow. I think you know about it, right? The follow bump. Well, I don't have any new followers, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. Hey, I got a new follower. Thanks for following me. La la la. I don't know. Insert name. Um. Yeah. Anyway, that's my little follow. Little Annie bot. That's what I. call my gal pal over here okay i feel like i lost track of everything ryan you're so distracting delete this layer where is this layer um yep i was working on this cool let's quickly oh my god really thank you so much that is awesome does that mean you like what i'm doing that is like a huge compliment I feel like this is like the wrong time to stream because last time um there were like about 15 20 people and that was mostly like UK people and um I'm just trying to experiment here to see what time works for me um yeah this is not something that's working out there's like lesser number of people that I'm seeing today but that's okay too so I'm just going to I feel like if there would be a name I think is there a way to name layers Yeah, there is. Reflections. And I'm going to quickly merge everything. I feel like I want to merge everything. There's too many layers and I can't keep track of these. Let us merge everything. So, yeah, that's that's what it looks like. I always like love doing this like, hey, before and after, before and after, what's going on? What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> fooling around. Yeah, I'm sorry. We did not know I did this as well. Okay, hold on. 
are these not the reflections what am i doing oh oops i'm sorry that's me la la <laughs> oh yeah that totally reminds me of that clip i think that's what like subconsciously um attracted me to uh attracted me to do it okay yes i am totally like all over the place so i did start yeah i love what you're doing these look great i love late night streams when i'm awake you're always awake you're just like me you're always awake till like 5 am i have like weird sleeping patterns and like i can concentrate better at night are you guys those people who concentrate better at night i feel like there's too much noise in the during the day it's like hey can you like let me work please okay this is too too much Let's just I feel like these are too distracting so I'm going to go ahead and remove these a little bit. These are too dark. I don't want them to be so dark. There's not much shadows I need over here so I'm just going to remove these a little bit. Wow, really? Why? I thought you were like that that was so good. The day thingy, I don't know whatever. I'm just super like I am like totally having this imposter syndrome after looking at you and wait today like I was having a chat with my brother the other day about I wanted to have like an online store for like um I don't know for like the past 7 months and I couldn't get PayPal working um hold on I think the music's gone has it Oh yeah I feel like I've finished the playlist wow really it's not on loop <laughs> Awesome okay <laughs> starting again So um I was talking to my brother the other day about NFTs and how I wanted like an online store on PayPal for so long and I couldn't get it and I'm like hey did you follow up with those guys and so I have uh we have like he has a startup that he's working with he's in Canada and I just thought we could do it again um like together and it could be my store but it didn't work out and I was like hey let's just do NFTs and he's like yeah let's do NFTs and i was just looking at uh, super rare and open sea how you have to like given like a minute long introductory video and i'm like wait so i have to make crypto art and um no music is there still no music i feel like i just like fix that error so when you like have this um aggregate setup in mac if you just touch your airpods or whatever you using you just like ruin everything so i have to go in and check again if there is no music i think there should be music now is there music i don't know there is there probably is okay i'm just going to continue with this stuff <clears throat> um yeah okay let's just go back to where we were so yeah when i saw your um animation Ryan I was like okay I am totally not getting in because there are like so many people getting in now and the other day I was looking at like I was listening to Paul Tani um talk about uh, one of the platforms I think it was Rarible or something and I was like okay and they're like we getting so many applications every day that we only put in like 60 people a month and i'm like i'm never going to be in those 60 people what's happening i draw i don't make animation stuff and obviously it's more about motion graphics right now so yeah go ahead i'm totally going to promote you everywhere absolutely you get free marketing from me on the house you can't hear music oh no what the hell i want music how about now can you hear the music It is showing like green light for me. Oh hey Mayur, I'm so glad you could join us. I wonder what Ryan would call you, Mayur. <laughs> That's what most Americans would call you, so don't mind. I'm sure you're used to it. What's up Mayur? How do you like the morning stream? Do you find it weird that like in India we have like everybody streaming at night and everything starts at like 10 p.m. for us. So we're like Hey, should I sleep or should I learn? Should I watch or should I go on live stream? And then you always end up debating like what do you want more? Okay, this is the reflections. Wait, what did I do over here? I think I did some blacks as well. Okay, whatever. I'll just merge everything. I like the 
the idea of crypto art but i feel like they won't pick me um i feel like they would i mean if you never try you'll never know right i know that's like contrary to what i just said but i'm going to go ahead with it like i'm still at least going to try if they don't pick me they don't pick me but at least i did my bit that's how i like to think about it Um, you were saying I thought you stream in the evening. I wish I could stay, but my manager is gonna be pissed if he sees me not working and watching the stream. Oh, that's awesome. Um, no worries, Mayur. Um, yeah, I did stream in the evening the last two times, but I was just experimenting with time because I had some work in the evening. So I just thought let's go, let's just go ahead and see how everything works in the morning. And um, yeah, the music is good. Yeah, I can hear the music now. Lol, don't tease me. You're right though. Wait, what about what the NFTs? I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about. Are you still talking about NFTs? Nah, I just do doodles. So you know what you can do? You can convert those doodles into animation. It's super easy. Um, you can make like frame animations and move them to Premiere Pro and just use like an image sequence, and it is gonna be amazing. It's super simple. You, it's like the old timey uh, animation that used to happen. So you just make frames on like the iPad, and yeah, that's as simple as that. Okay, feel like I'm missing something. Okay, these leaves. I forgot about them. I got super excited, and I forgot about these leaves. I'm like, shit. What am I doing? Where are the leaves? Also, by the way, a uh, hot tip: don't drink hot coffee that's supposed to be hot cold. Don't drink it. It's terrible. I just, I just did that. Don't ever do it. I still have that beer taste in my mouth, so I'm just gonna get some water. One second. I'm not gonna use the be right back screen because I'm right here. Also, if you're just joining me, I have this huge jug of water there. I like to drink water. I can't, don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I love water. I love drinking water. And yep, I have to find a good app for the animation. Oh, you can use a uh, Premiere Pro for the animation or After Effects. After Effects, I believe both of them work on the same um, principle essentially. But uh, for me, After Effects is a little bit difficult to understand because I'm like really new to it. But you can do um, like an image sequence of After Effects. You can um, use an image sequence in Premiere Pro and just like import stuff, and that will make your life super easy. That's how I make my animated gifs. That's like my secret. I render stuff in Adobe Dimension, and then I'm like, "Hey, what am I gonna do now? Let's just make a small loop- looping GIF out of it." Because I've realized that with marketing, you really need to have something that's moving because it's like easier to grab people's attention when it's a video. And um, uh, even if it's like a five-second animated GIF, it totally does the job. I mean, especially Instagram. The Instagram algorithm gives a preference to um, like video content more than static images. so it's like totally on point with that and lately i've been trying to improve my followers on instagram i recently like i stopped posting anything for like 3 months straight and then i lost a few few followers but then now i'm slowly gaining it back okay cold coffee gets the job done with it asmr waterfall really i tried to pour it like a beer i i i'm missing beer i haven't had beer in like all of last year wow I think I had beer like right when COVID hit, and then I just like gave up on beer and life. <laughs> I prefer my coffee hot, but end up drinking cold coffee too often. Yeah, I feel like I have this allergy to changing weather, and now if I so it's like whenever this weather is changing, and I feel um like I drink something cold at night, especially because that's when I'm awake. I just feel like I'm gonna fall sick, and that also happens. Oh, there are dew drops over here. Let's experiment with that. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Here. Let us experiment with dew drops. I feel like I've done this in Procreate, but I've never done this on Fresco. So this is gonna be fun. I have one more to make. What's the time? Wow, it's already been so long that I've been streaming. I didn't even realize it. These practically look like holes now. Let's see if we can change that. We probably can. This this looks so pixelated. Like what is happening? 
super pixelated but in the end it is essentially pixels right <laughs> i'm sorry i'm making really lame jokes one sec let's see if this works does it does it work does it work please tell me it works got to get an ember what the hell is an ember let's check it out ember the first world's first oh is it like one of those temperature controlled uh, cups that keep your tea or coffee warm until you drink it and i'm i always wonder if it's like weight sensitive like does it sense how much pressure is on top and that's how it like switches it off switches itself off I don't know. Let me check this out. Ember. We could all use more time. Extend your battery life. Offers more time with your favorite hot beverage. The world's first temperature control mugs. Oh wow, these look cool. They're also like an ergonomic design. I really like these. I don't know how they work, and I'm. I don't know. But a boy can dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you should get like one of those things off Amazon. I think. Ha ha! I have a Mr. Coffee hot plate, but I forget to take it out. I have to upgrade to the Ember. Oh my God! Now you guys are giving me FOMO because I don't know if stuff can like come to India. There's half of the stuff that doesn't deliver, and half of the stuff gets stuck in the customs, and I feel like I'm missing out on so much. And that's also like the thing with NFTs, by the way. I really don't know how people are doing it over here because NF like cryptocurrency was banned right when a lot of things like TikTok was also banned in India, and then. like people stop trading and like everybody just got stuck because of the taxes and everything all the obligations there's some updates coming around about nfts and like cryptocurrency in general in india that they're going to bring it back and like open it for us but as long as i'm here i don't know how it's going to work so yeah i'll just stick to drawing <laughs> that's terrible though there's like weird rules over here and then they're like no i don't know illegitimate websites coming up with like crazy crazy i don't trust them i don't trust my country so i'm so glad i can't be banned off of me hands for saying that because had i been on another another platform i would be banned oh wait can i be banned if i'm not patriotic shit i didn't think of that <laughs> it's okay as long as i may let's just quickly finish this before i get banned okay Let's just like I want to finish at least this one. Oops, there's too much. Okay, this brush size is too big for this. Might get one of those little hot plates. Yeah, you need to do what my in-laws do. They ask my husband, and he brings it when he visits. Oh yeah, um, I also do that with everything. I ask my brother to bring everything for me, every single time. And then now, we asked him not to come over because it's like COVID and everything, and traveling is like super difficult with like sixteen hours flight time, and you can't even like eat or take your mask off or like go to the restroom or anything, or even drink water for that matter. And then I'm like. Damn, let's just stay over there and not do anything. And that's actually why I haven't upgraded to a new machine yet because I feel like over here buying stuff from here is like stupid. I've never gotten any of my gadgets from here. Oh, that reminds me of this weird thing about my Apple Watch. So I used to use the Apple Watch one uh and I just took these bands off like to wash them because they were like super dirty and this was just kept on my mattress and I just like flip the uh i don't know what do you call it the bed sheet like that and the bed covers and it just went whoop and then the glass broke i don't know if i still have it i have to check it do i still have it i must i'm not sure if i have it around here um yeah it's not around here but the glass broke and i was like hey apple is this what you're selling i don't trust you anymore it shouldn't break but um yeah it broke and then i had to get a new one and i was happy about that but i did not get it from india that was the whole story but i just thought it would be fun to tell like how i broke my apple watch <laughs> there is like the only touch with the only um uh device i broke ever 
thanks and this morning when i woke up i was going to break something else too i was like hey let's just quickly get on with it and i was like shit i just dropped my airpods um okay let's 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 go back yeah india's legislation is getting wild with crypto lol you're not going to be banned for free speech oh yeah thank you that's amazing <laughs> you're allowed in trust your country yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean maybe we need to escape to europe oh tell me about it that's a good idea kalan right there let's plan something um this feels a little bit incomplete so i'm just going to like merge everything because there's again too many layers let's merge everything merge everything merge everything and i'm for the best like, ooh this looks nice this looks nice this looks nice <laughs> i'm sorry don't hate on me like some little fun anyway oh i'm going to use the happy hb or like scratchy pencil this is scratchy pencil let's bring the scratchy pencil on i'm like really going fast now because feel like i spent a lot of time doing this wait the music stopped again what is happening did i finish the playlist again this is so weird let me just put this on loop quality fabric products has gone away down gone way down in the last 10 years they're still good but they're no longer in fashionable like they were fashionable i think that's true that is true i feel like the phones are still better with the gorilla glass and everything but like the apple watch should essentially be the same and it is but i don't know how it broke i honestly don't know like i was so surprised and i was just like what did you do what is wrong with you and i'm like i didn't do anything i didn't do nothing <laughs> let's plan something you want to vaccinate our world traveler well i'm happy for you ryan because over here i'm not going to be vaccinated until the end of this year and it's like terrible terrible um thing i'm not even missing it to be honest like i'm like hey whatever It's okay. Okay, I feel like this needs to be a little bit. Wait, I'm not a scratchy pencil. No, I'm not. I felt like I was doing something wrong, but what do you guys think of this, though? What do you think, Ryan? What do you think, Carolyn? Do you think this is a good sketch? Do you have any help for me? Do you have any inputs? Hmm. Okay, interesting. I can just like do this. Go over. I can increase the size. Give him some texture. Erase a little bit of that. I don't need it. I'll like maybe put some texture in here as well. Oops, I was erasing it. I have no idea. I was erasing it. Oops. I did it again. One sec. That is because they're selling more than they ever did before. Apple went from niche to everyone. Oh, you're right. I think now it's just about, um, you know, like since I have all Apple products, I just tend to use everything Apple because I like how seamless they are. It's the same with the Adobe products, and they just like get you hooked to like their products. And obviously, since you're using them more and more every day, you feel like um, you need them. I could be. You think so? Let's just go ahead and like. Let's see what happens if I duplicate this layer. Is this a layer? I'm just gonna duplicate it and see what happens. Where is the duplicate button? Oh shit! What did I do? Oops! I did not want that. Um, duplicate. Oh, that is interesting. That is so interesting. You're right. I should listen to you more often. I- I'm gonna like decrease it a little bit. I'm gonna use some highlights on this now that you say it. This is like the first or the second time that I'm doing something like this. I on obviously like obviously I always painted abstract stuff, so I never really like cared about 
doing the basics until I was like 15. I had like the other day I was looking through my stuff and I saw like a ton of embarrassing things. <laughs> While I was like, "Hey, did I draw that when I was 15? What's going on?" Um, okay, let's see. My first apple was oh my god, Ryan, we are too similar. Way too similar. It's creepy now. Looking good. Thanks, Karen. This sketch looks weird. I think you could be Oh, I read about I read that. Especially how dark the top right lemon is in the reference. I'm on watch number 2 and every time there is an update it takes half the day. Oh, there's an update pending for me and I have it really like gone ahead and do it. There's an update pending for my laptop as well and I'm like, do I need to do it? Should I do it? Like I'm scared if I should do it. Everything will break. Um yeah, I'm happy with this merge layers. What if I accidentally deleted everything? Let me just save it. Yeah, look good. Sorry, I did it again. Let's just like refine this a little bit. So I'm just again pressing the function key and removing these extra bits. You can leave it like that, but you can also remove it. Sometimes I leave it, sometimes I try to like clear it up. Hold on. What? Yeah. I'm in the erase mode. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This looks nice. I like how this looks now. Thanks for the tip, Ryan. That was really nice um about going bolder with my values. It looks I feel like the the middle one like this one. Let me just point to it. Like this guy looks a little bit off. And this guy looks a little bit off. But this guy looks perfect. Okay, let's just remove this. Yeah, let's see how things look. Um, I feel like the leaves need a little bit more work. I'm like super slow with this kind of stuff, but I want to get everything right. The other day I was trying to attempt something for like 10 minutes and it was horrible. Like even a kid could draw better than that. And I'm like, what am I doing? Let's just take my time and like do stuff the right way. Like take your time with it. but i would say not like fixate on it because um it's important to take a step back as i said like take a step back how does it look now but um yeah but like i feel like i sometimes try to be a perfectionist and like try to do things the right way and if i'm not i'll just totally scratch that like for instance maybe just maybe after this live i'll delete this file and not upload it anywhere because i don't think it's perfect and yeah that's something it's just something i do i wonder how you guys work like do you also like do you think about these kind of things i don't know maybe i feel like i could increase the size and like Okay, maybe it should be under here. Ha ha ha! I got one thing right for the day. Really? <laughs> Everything else should be scrutinized heavier than usual moving forward. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. But okay, I agree with you. Um, now yeah, some more over here as well. I don't know. Should I do another one, guys? Should I do a third one? What do you think? I've done two already. Should I do a third one that's going to be like one level up? I feel like this is good now. I'm going to stop doing this. I feel like I leave this on separate layers just to show how it's looking. I like how the dew drops look. Maybe I could refine them a little bit though. I 
Okay, much better. Save it, save it, save it, save your work. Hmm. Let us go back. So this was my first one. Right? This takes longer and slow connections. This is my first one. That looks good. Right? And then this is my second one. Oh, I like how they're looking, to be honest. I feel like I get lost between like realism and how I want them to really look. And then I was trying some other stuff over here, which is like, let's just cancel this, like various other things. And this is something that I drew up. The other day, I think Maddie was on Behance. And then um, I just had like the last 10 minutes and this is what I drew in those 10 minutes. I was like, hey, this looks good. And then boop, 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 boop. Yeah, anyway, just playing around. Um, okay, I don't know if I should do a third one, but I'm gonna try doing it. I am quickly gonna go change my screen to where's OBS? Where's work area? Okay, let's just quickly go back. So this is what I was working with. Right? Um, they look great. Thank you, Ryan. I feel like you're biased now. I feel like my machine hangs whenever I go to this work area sort of a thing. Like when still since when was 16 GB not enough for like OBS? I have it on super fast, ultra fast I think. Like everything is so slow for me. Like I feel like there is a lag on my machine. <laughs> What's happening? Um yeah, I wanted to do something really similar to this like achieve that plastic look. But that's going to be like terribly difficult and awful. Um, you know what? I'm just going to search something like plastic fruits. Will they give me a plastic fruit or a fruit in a plastic? I wonder. Oh, there's nothing that I wanted. Oh, there is something. There's too many. It's like a fruit for a face. There. Fruit faces. <laughs> you're not biased? Oh, that's awesome. Though. I'm glad you're not biased. That's actually a better thing. Wait, I feel like this is so laggy. Wow, wow, wow. What's happening? See, this is why I can't use After Effects. Like, if a simple thing as Safari can, like, make my machine cry, imagine what will happen if I use After Effects on this. OBS really takes a lot out of the system. You know what? Let's just go, go, and pick a difficult one. Is this too many strawberries? How many strawberries is too many strawberries? Do you guys like strawberries? Hmm. I wonder. I feel like these things will be a little too difficult. I, I don't want to draw that. I, I don't want to draw that. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like a nice thing I could do. This is a challenge. So there's this guy who took this photo as well who's also in the reddraggallery.co.uk. Okay, that's a really small file. And it's so small and pixelated now. This could be fun to draw. Yeah, let's draw this. I will quickly take a screenshot and replace this on my thing. Hold on. Let us take a screenshot of this little guy. Over here. You can never have too many strawberries. I know, right? I, um, so the other day there were like strawberries over here and I, I just, let me just quickly replace this image. I'm sorry. I got distracted again. Um, so there's strawberries out there, out here and they were not too sweet. So I just decided to like, oh, there's this little thing. Um, if you take a screenshot, that's terrible. Oh, I clicked on it. Um, yeah, one sec. Let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. So yeah, the strawberries were bitter and I just decided to make chocolate coated strawberries. And I'm like, let's just temper some chocolate and make some strawberries instead because I can't eat these bitter strawberries and I really like strawberries. Strawberries. What kind of word is that? Strawberries. Um, 
Oh, also in one thing I like think sometimes struggle with is thinking like if it put should put captions on because it may be hard to understand my accent and I'm like should I put captions on because I don't know if people are going to understand me or like I talk too fast sometimes so I feel like um should I put captions on but then I end up not doing it because sometimes when you speak there are there is a lot of things that like get lost in like speech to text and I'm like should I put captions on or should I not yeah I'm super thirsty Oh there's this little badge that I created. Hold on, let me show you. This is like a magnetic badge sort of a thing and I painted I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So this is like a badge that you can wear um anywhere. I was planning to sell these as well but I don't have um sorry. I don't have my online shop working. I don't know, would you guys buy buy something like this? This is like acrylics and This is an Aurora Borealis inspired badge. I love to wear them. I also have this um really nice um the other thing I really like to play with like single lines. So I have this I have I, I made this little box thingy as well that you can like you would get it in if you purchase it from me. So like hey let's show you how this looks. This is all made from a single line so I sketched it on here with a single line and I really like doing these portraits and stuff. So um yeah This is like made with like paint pens and like the back is dirty because I'm yet to clean it but this is how it looks like and this this is all magnetic would you guys buy something like this i'm just curious Okay yeah let's go back I'm sorry self promotion time I like banner self promotion Let's do self promotion. Okay, let's see what's going on. Your accent doesn't interfere, but it's always nice nice for accessibility. Oh yeah, I think I should put it on, right? Beautiful bag. Love the paint effect. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Would you buy something like this? I'm not sure. Okay, let's quickly go through the drill. No, 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 no. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Where are you? Let us go back and save it. Let's save it and do this. I feel like so. Um, I used to play NFS with my brother on the console as a kid. and um if you like playing a racing game you just like mm-hmm, and you're just like all over the place right <laughs> i can't believe i just did that but um yeah that happens and i feel like that's what i'm doing when i'm drawing as well so if i'm working in a dobi dimension i'm like hey should i like um do it like this but like that's what i did right now because i didn't want to like you know like rotate the screen a lot so yeah anyway Wow! Please upload them as a project. Sure, I'd buy one. Yeah, I'd buy one of the line art ones. Oh, that's awesome! That is awesome. You guys are on my newsletter. Coming out soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I upload it as a project? Do you think? Okay, I'll upload it as a project. If you say so. I have a bunch of others as well. I painted like five or six. and i could never sell them okay i feel like i have a trick for this and why am i not using it like there is a circle right here i can use that what am i doing in my life i'm questioning everything question everything i'm sorry and then there's a little guy I don't feel like I'll be able to complete this in time but let's see how it goes. Wow, that looks so wonky. It is that, it is that, it is that, it is that. It is that as well.
you know what um i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that so this is the ruler guys this is awesome i love to see when like the ruler gets hurt in a little bit um yeah this is not centered at all but we're going to make it that way this is like help me give like some direction Now at least I know it's straight. What is wrong with this glass? Like this thing is too big. Hold on. I feel like this is a nice time to stream. There are like not a lot of people streaming. You can like concentrate on your work all day. Although I do it at night. Maybe this will be a bit of a stretch when you're like, um, you know, like I'll have to plan these out. What is this on a different layer? Yeah, it's on a different layer. Figured. Okay, there we go. I feel like this middle guy is like too wonky. Yeah. So I'm using like the iPad um Pro. It's an old one. 9.7. And this is like the first Apple pencil. That's why I don't have the tap thingy. So I have to like press this button. And if you long press it, long press the function key. What did I do? It really does this, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Hmm. So if I have to just like, yeah, there you go. You just long press it and like, um, you can fix it. So if you're like just staying there for a bit, you know, you're gonna remove things. You can just long press and like lock it in a way. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing a terrible job at like marketing Adobe Fresco, but yeah, there we go. So we have our first ship in and I'm not really a fan of this, but we are gonna move it. We're gonna move it. We like to move it. Okay, let's, let's, let's see what this is. This looks like an inverted egg. So I think this is like my, this would be my top tip. If you're drawing something and you don't know what, what, how to go about it. Just try to break it down in like shapes. So like, just see how it looks in a shape and then you can just convert it. So this is like, this will serve as my structure for the thing that I'm creating. And I see like this thing over here. And I also see this, see this coming down. This going in. We have this as well. Awesome. There is this thing coming on top. I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna sketch it. Um, okay, this feels like it's wrong, like in a way that it's like this because it's like angled a little bit. And since this is just like a sketch I'm doing over here, don't worry about how it looks right now because it's okay, you can edit everything. That's how I use Fresco. Okay, back to this layer. Let me see what's happening here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still on the lasso rule. Like this is where can I be connecting? Yeah.
I've been awfully quiet. Awfully quiet in here. I'm like one of those people who thinks that when it's quiet, it's weird. Are you one of those people? Because I feel like I'm too talkative. Like I get anxious when people are quiet. I feel like something's wrong. Hey, why are you not talking? Is everything okay? Like, is everything okay with you? Are we good? Like, I am one of those people. And then when you're talking with someone new, they're like, what's up with you, woman? I'm just like chilling over here. Yeah, okay. This looks kind of okay. I'm not completely happy with it, but um whatever. We'll just figure it out. We'll figure it out. We we'll also save it out. Ooh, I see like there is this glass. This is glass reflection on the metal thing. Wow, I've really picked something. This is this is terrible. I shouldn't have picked this. Wow, I am regretting my decision right now. I'm totally regretting my decision. and this guy is like a little too big so i will just scale it down beautifully this feels like it's my jug okay this is a little backwards so like in the perspective oh you feel the same way i am but i'm generally an anxious person yeah me too i feel like i am that person as well like last night i was thinking about what i'm going to talk about now like hey i should come up with a plan what am i going to do in the live and then i couldn't sleep for half an hour and i'm like whatever we'll see how it goes um carolyn said something what um did that okay yeah i don't know well with silence oh did you say science <laughs> yeah um i i read that no worries it's okay it's just us we don't we don't judge there's no this is a judge free zone we don't judge for anything oh wait i was reading that wrong that is not that is a reflection wow Anyway, what have you going on? What have you got going on, Ryan? Are you working on something? Why are you still awake? What's up? Why are you still awake? That sounds so wrong. What are you doing awake? What are you doing right now? You know, good question. What is this? Oh my God, this is not straight at all. Let us fix this wonky little thing. <laughs> I was gonna cuss, but then I remi- I reminded myself of this one time that someone asked Ryan on stream. They're like, Hey, do you cuss on stream? Like, is it okay to cuss on a stream? and they're like hey think of it like an interview and i'm like yeah you definitely don't cast an interview like unless it's like someone you work interview we yeah, are no not really okay awesome yeah auto correct is evil oh yeah tell me about it it is evil it is evil i know it is okay let's just leave it at this and like want to use so since this is going to be hidden anyway i feel like i do not work on it a lot i'm also going to make like this really nice oh i feel like i i know what i did wrong hmm awesome i'm just like making guides for myself i don't want myself to be like stuck in a zone where it's not like whatever yeah let's go back again this is something that i can work with like this i'm always awake but i'm working oh that's really nice that you're here then because i imagine work is like you need to concentrate and stuff what is this Sometimes I also go ahead and use the eraser once in a while because I feel like um, there are times when you can't just erase one bit of it and it's too too much too much work. 
Yeah, this guy looks a little bit wonky like I said. But there you go. We're all fixed now. Don't worry, little fella. Um okay, move it up. And if you want to move it like just a little bit, I don't know if you can see this, but these arrow keys, I don't know you you can see that I'm tapping these. Let me just quickly go on and turn my options just to like ease of access. So like you just click on this and then you can just like move it around anywhere. Wait. And then if you just want to move it like just by a pixel, let's say you can use these arrow keys to do that. I'm going to do that because I want to get it right. Also, I feel like this is the right place for this. Let's go back to the options. Um, I can't really draw with this because then I can't see what's happening. So I just try to like turn it off when I'm not like demonstrating anything. Does that make sense? I immediately feel like the things that are wrong with this bowl, but it's okay. It's okay. Tell myself that every day. It's okay. I feel like I'm not going to be able to finish this. I'm already tired. Oh, this is little guy peeking in from behind. I had no idea. And there's this thing. This is so wrong. Oh yeah, this looks like it's taking shape. Oh, I know what I did wrong over here. This is too straight. Hmm. No worries, we'll fix that. Do you sometimes feel like um in a sketch? Do, are you like those people who would redo everything, or would you like just go with it? I don't know if if I've spoken about this before, but the other day, I don't know, unrelated. But that just reminds me of like skip rope. It says using skip rope, and I think I used to do it as like a kid. I mean, who who uses jump rope anymore, right? And then um, I'm doing it, and I saw this um, person going viral on Instagram, and they're also doing it, and they're making like these fancy footworks videos and IG reels, and I'm like, what's going on over here? How can I do that? So I tried to. Um, I did not try to imitate it because obviously I can't do that. And um, yeah, that was a bad decision. And then it just like hit me on my back like a couple of times. <laughs> and I'm like, should I stop now? Because this is starting to hurt. But um, yeah, I, I, my question was, are you those people? Like if you like using step rope, do you like just stop doing it altogether when it hurts you? Or do you like, like tell yourself that hey it's gonna be okay we just gotta keep going on let us try again i'm just curious Oh, you will rework, but you don't start over. Yeah, me neither. Sometimes I might when I'm not not happy with it at all, but not a lot of times. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. It's too much work, to be honest. I feel like this guy is getting a little too loud over here. Um, I'm still on not not at that stage where I can just directly make these shapes to be honest so i need like guides so um 
I did try to make like things directly and it did not turn out well. You don't want to see it guys. Like how is that going to look? Let us see. No way, you're not seeing it. Um so um I'm going to go ahead and like try and see what happens if I duplicate this layer. It's a little too dark. So I'm going to increase it. Yeah, that looks good. Now it's down. And like go ahead and go with white and go with the scratchy HB pencil and like see what happens. And this is obviously not the right shape, but I'm not fretting over shapes right now. It's okay. I just want to get this done at this point because it's been awfully long, awfully long. If not terribly long, awfully long. But it's okay. We are practicing and learning. Increase the size a little bit and like just go over, make some reflections. Like change the color a little bit in between. Go back on this layer. Oh, okay. Actually, go on a new layer. Oh, I'm glad I went on this layer because this is like some opacity I don't want. Go back to this layer, use white. I like. It's been great. I'm just lurking and working. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> I'm just lurking and working. I'm going to use that. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Carolyn, for sticking around and hanging out with me today. This is awesome. I feel so good that you guys could like take all the time and hang out with me. I feel so artificial sometimes when I say it like that. I feel so good when you take all the time and hang out with me. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, it was great. Um, to be honest, this is like hangout, good hangout session. Let's look at it. Oh. I feel so bad about this, but yeah, whatever. This is definitely not what I was going for. But hey, now that we're here, I don't have a choice, do I? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, mm -mm. We have this here. Awesome. I feel like at this point, I need to like show how it looks in 3D. Oh yeah. Thanks, Carolyn. Thanks for joining in. I'm glad you could join in and like stick around for so long. Thanks for joining in. This is awesome. And I will probably be streaming like next Friday. Um, maybe a little bit earlier than this or like whatever. I'll just post something on Instagram. And you and you obviously follow me so you, you get a notification. And there's also going to be like... So I think there's this... Um, new update that's gonna come around soon and you can just like get notifications when I'm going live so that's also there you can go on to my profile and click the bell icon like on YouTube and you can get stuff notified whatever that's also there been fun watching you draw thank you thank you for staying around I feel like I'm just gonna do this class thingy and just gonna go. I don't know if I wanna complete this at this point. Should I? What do you say, Ryan? Are you looking for another half an hour at least? <laughs> I don't know.
Yeah, good night, Carolyn. Thanks for joining. Bye bye. Let's use a graphite again. Oh, it's so hot suddenly. And my hands sweaty. Hands are sweaty. Does that remind you of something, guys? I don't know. So millennial. So millennial. Palms are sweaty. Oh, I just like think I was just thinking about it. Yeah. I'm sorry if you can't follow. I was just talking about some lyrics um, going on. And at this point, I can't even remember the song that I'm talking about. Yeah, but this is how it looks like. Hmm. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. So let's merge everything down. Let's merge, let's merge. Oh, wait. I feel like I'm going to stop after um, this jog that I'm painting because, yeah, I'm tired. And since I've already done like fruits before, so I'm going to leave that for later on and I'm going to post this to my Behance or my Instagram perhaps. I don't know. But I had a ton of fun. This was good. Um, yeah, I see something that's wrong with this. <sighs> Oof, this is sweaty. Um, yeah. Really? This is fast? Are you serious right now? I started this at 10.39. It's been half an hour and I only did the glass. Are you serious, Diane? <laughs> this is not fast, is it? it was it like you stepped away for a minute and then you came back to this? Then, yeah, that could be it. Really? Okay, awesome. That's good. But I think the quality also gets compromised when I work fast. I want to take my time with it, but I don't have time. Um, Initially, I thought I'd put a timer on like the left and like see how things are. And like, hey, let's put a timer on the top left where my screen is like. And see how it looks. But then I'm like, I'll be pushing and working against time, and I don't want to push unnecessarily put myself under pressure. So I like thought against it. And that was actually a good idea. I don't want to put myself under pressure for no reason. 
this is fun and relaxing relaxing yeah sometimes that happens i get my tongue tied but this has been cool let's go back So I woke up at like 8, 10 a.m. this morning, and the stream started at 9, right? And I had to shower before that, and I'm like contemplating: should I shower or should I just like sit all groggy in front of the screen? And I'm like, hey, let's make efforts and like shower <laughs> for once at like the right time in the morning. Or wait, is there a right time to shower? I'm not sure. Is it? I mean, this is a pandemic. You can shower whenever you want or not. that's also like a possibility i'm not personally a fan of that but like it's okay if you are as i said this is a judge free zone i try to be inclusive all the time like sometimes um i don't know what people like to call refer to them as sometimes call them like i sometimes try to like i always try to use them or they for everybody but then i'm like Hey, he told me something like that, or she told me something like that. I think it's like a culture thing. It's imbibed in my mental dictionary, and then I feel like um, I did something wrong, or like I should probably not abuse it. You know. The other day I was on a server, and um, over there they had a bot which said, "Hey, he leveled up," and. I'm like, hey, you should make this word inclusive because I'm not a he. I like to call myself a she. What's wrong with you? <laughs> And they're like, okay, we have an all-inclusive word now. <laughs> no, everyone must shower at 11:08. Yeah, you are right. You got me. Anything else is inappropriate. Absolutely. You heard it. You heard it right here from Ryan. So every single time you are contemplating the fact, if you want to shower, just remember Ryan's golden words: shower at eleven and wait. Like I said yesterday on the stream, do it right or don't do it at all. Like shower at eleven eight, and if you pass it, if you're asleep, don't worry, don't shower. It's okay. Oh, I like how this looks. Let's zoom out and see how this looks. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks alright. It doesn't look bad. I feel like the whites on here are too overpowering. Can I turn them off? Let's Let's quickly turn on the mirror. I'm so hungry right now, yeah. Sometimes I feel like when I'm streaming, I will say something in my mother tongue. And this one time, I was on with Brandon, and I said something in Hindi. And I'm like, "Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to like talk in Hindi in between. I just said the word because in Hindi." And I'm like, "Okay." I was trying to explain something. I was talking for like two and a half long hours, and then I totally lost track of time. And I'm like. Talking in Hindi. What's happening? Anika is talking in Hindi. Anika, yeah. I feel like since I've been interacting with so many people over weekends, I I I started calling myself Anika, which is fine as well. I like Anika. I used to work with a lot of clients based out of the UK, and they used to call me Anika all the time. So I like Anika. Anika is like I call myself Anika. Anika is good too. At this point, if someone's just joining in. For instance, they would feel like this is such a self-obsessed person just talking about their name. I'm like, "Hey, I'm Anika. What's up?" But um, yeah, no, it's not. And um, I'm like one of those people who would like totally be pissed at you if you like spell my name wrong. So some people just call me, decide to call me Ankita instead, or like Ankita, or like Kanika, and I'm like, um, 
no it starts with an a like what's wrong with you writing an email to me like how do you how do you how do you like spell it wrong you can just you sending an email to anika i'm like what is up with you dude but yeah that happens too this one of those things you should put e n h i in your title oh yeah absolutely e n h i and f r e n h i f r everything i took french lessons um back in school i had french in school and then i used to suck at it like i literally cheated in exams and <laughs> oh flex absolutely why not right like i said if someone is joining in they'd be like this person is so self obsessed they're going to run out of here um yeah anyway i had like french lessons in school and back in school i used to hate french because i just used to like do guesswork with grammar okay and then like i obviously used to fail because you can't just guess what the gender of a table is for instance oh yeah what french song do you like i recently started making playlists on spotify so i used to use apple music but since i've started streaming i've started using spotify more i got a subscription as well and i have no playlist on spotify so i just decided to make like a french song playlist it's a very pop slash i don't know um very pop playlist if that makes sense yeah it does make sense it's a pop playlist so if you're interested i can share that with you oh i haven't heard that one hmm oh, that's a good song what's your spotify rank can you drop a link for your spotify there's hair everywhere there's hair everywhere hair hair and there okay not so i'm rambling Also I'm going to stop right after I finish this which doesn't seem like it's going to be happening anytime soon. But yeah. There's a table too and this thing too that I missed. Wow. Totally missed that. Oh, thank you for the link. Also sent you to in Discord. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That is very kind. Also thank you for sticking around. I'm glad you're here. I know I'm not like very interactive because I'm trying to concentrate, but also because I'm super slow. But I'm glad you are still here and hanging out with me. This is awesome. My Spotify is probably just Ryan Selvi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I assume so. You know what I'm going to try right now? I'm going to try and duplicating this layer. And oops, I forgot to Did I um put D&D on? Yeah, it's on. What's up with this? Why did I get a notification from Behance? That's so weird. On D&D. Okay, anyway. Forget that. Let us try to do something really nice. A nice trick because I'm on you know this is i'm cheating i'm totally cheating right now oh and it's going to be like can you flip it yeah you can flip it i'm just cheating because i don't have a lot of time so just realize i can cheat yeah i would definitely not recommend this but <laughs> and the i'm like super tired like let's do this but this is like whatever yep 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 this looks good now i don't i feel like i don't even have to do a lot of things and it still looks good hard work oh i'm sorry it's smart work not hard work that totally went wrong for a second there but like i bounced back from it i saved my um yeah let us finish this up i feel like this wine thingy the glass thingy really saved me from this like making this a terrible illustration because i would have not like not love to end like that not love to end like that yes sometimes my grammar is terrible you know knowing three languages and everything 
and also like spanish is super close to french so yeah pressure no pressure where is this layer let's remove this go back up go to graphite again i usually try to stick between like just a few um brushes that i'm using because there's like a plethora of brushes on here and you can easily get confused between the kind of brush you're using and i think i read somewhere quote and quote i don't know who who it was and um they also said the same thing that um uh, because there's so many resources around us we just often tend to get mixed up in those so if you have like let's say 500 brushes like let's say let's go over here and see how many brushes we have these are all the inbuilt brushes over here and over here and then there are library brushes so there's like so many and i'm using some from the mega pack and there's like 455 right it's so easy to get confused between what you want to use because all the brushes are great right and um it's easy to like get lost in brushes so i just try to stick to like two or three brushes and see how they're working out for me and um yeah i feel like it really helps with the whole process and making it easy overall um also let's just duplicate this hmm interesting Awesome. Thanks everyone who's hanging out and lurking in the chat. I see a few people on here. And it's okay if you don't want to say hello. I don't mind it. I'm just glad you're around and sticking around to see what the final product looks like. I'm sorry that I won't be able to show you what this one is going to look like. I will probably post it on my Behance or my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hashtag self promotion. I feel like you gotta hype yourself, right? I'm my own hype man. Okay, I think this is a good stopping point. Let's just add some. This guy over here. This is my concentrating face. If you're interested, sorry, just got a notification. Got distracted there for a second, but I'm back in it. Oh, my hand hurts. I'm gonna stop.
Now I didn't want to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, um guys, I think this is where I'm going to stop. Um I'm going to make this on my own time later on. This is how it looks like. It looks okay, right? It looks good. So this is my third one. This um where is it? This was what I started with. So this is like the first one. Um and so six slower connections and this is like the first one. Oh wow, there I oh, I see progress. Wow, this looks good. And then this is the second one. I really like this one and then this is the third one. This is like the most difficult of all, but I'm glad I can see it coming to life slowly. And yeah let me just slowly um slowly you know let me just quickly switch to my whatever yeah i'm just here it's okay so yeah this is a good stopping point i am so glad you could join us and there is carolyn thanks carolyn thanks chris thank you ryan of course and thank you mayur for joining us and all the people who are there in the chat just lurking around And I think I'm just going to stop over here for today and I'm going to be back next week and I will post it to my behind. So thanks for joining me and helping me out with everything and sticking around and hanging out and like everything. So all right. Bye guys. I'll see you next time. Probably not the same time, but I'll see you.